somebody messed with my music again. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just one question for you. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Well, for the three people attendance and the tens and tens watching around the world. Let me introduce to you, it's Beast Mode. And today, is Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of cool things happened today. I had somebody ask me yesterday in my DMs. Again, it's beast mode at awesomeness.com. That's not a real thing, by the way. But they asked me, Beast Mode, thank you for the education. And I say, you're welcome. But I'm educating myself too. You see, I do not look at today's history or the celebrations or the joke. Or the did you know? I don't look at any of those things until I'm live. So I'm learning about them as we go too. So let's find out what happened on this date in history. Ladies and gentlemen, in the year 1016, upon the death of King Ethelred II, his son claimed the throne as Edmund II because he wasn't an idiot. Why do you ask? Because... If there was one Ethelred, and then a second Ethelred, Edmund was like, yo, Ethelred's a stupid name. I'ma be Edmund, unquote. In 1635, the Boston Grammar School, parentheses later, the Boston Latin School, parentheses, comma, open to all boys regardless of social class, comma, was founded as the first public school in what would become the United States, semicolon. It set a precedent for tax dash, oh, I'm sorry, tax hyphen supported public education, period. In 1791, James Buchanan, the 15th U.S. president, was born near Mercerburg, sorry about that, Mercersburg, Pennsylvania. In 1858, German physicist Max Planck, who originated quantum theory, was born in Kiel, or Kiel. No, he did not invent push up position. In 1906, 
Russian Tsar, the Tsar, Russian Tsar, Nicholas II promulgated, I'll wait, I'll wait ladies and gentlemen while you look up the word promulgated, I'll wait till the end of the broadcast, the fundamental laws which marked the end of unlimited autocracy but fell short of the reforms promised in the October Manifesto. In 1914, Wrigley Field, then known as Weegman Park, could be pronounced Weeman Park, hosted its first Major League Baseball game. The stadium later became home to the Chicago Cubs. In 1931, the American film classic The Public Enemy was released in theaters. I know, I got goosebumps too. And James Cagney's landmark performance as a gangster made him a star. Gangster, not gangsta. In 1936, American singer-songwriter Roy Orbison, known for his soaring voice and for his carefully crafted ballads of loneliness and heartache, was born in Vernon, Texas. Pretty woman, won't you pardon me, pretty woman, I couldn't help but see, pretty woman. In 1976, the American band, the Ramones, which was hugely influential in the rise of punk rock on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, released its eponymous debut album. I might have butchered that word. In 1984, the U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services, Margaret Heckler, announced that researchers had found what was believed to be the virus that causes AIDS, the infectious agent, later named HIV. In 1985, the Coca-Cola company introduced New Coke, a reformulated soft drink meant to replace its flagship beverage, Due to public outrage, however, the previous version of Coke was brought back as Coca-Cola Classic less than three months later. In 1998, James Earl Ray, the convicted assassin of Martin Luther King Jr., died in prison at age 70. Some say he was innocent. Let me know if you think he was. 2005, the first video, which was of YouTube co-founder Jawed Kareem's visit to the San Diego Zoo, was uploaded on the YouTube website approximately one year later. The site had some 100 million videos. Most of them were beast mode beard porn videos. I got in early, I'm sorry. In 2007, Russian politician Boris Yeltsin, who became in 1991 the first popularly elected leader in his country's history and guided Russia through a stormy decade of political and economic retrenching until his resignation on the eve of 2000, he died today at the age of 76. Ladies and gentlemen, the event of the day is voted on by yours truly, the man with the plan, Beast Mode. On this day in 1993, after a long history of foreign rule and decades of war, the small East African country of Eritrea, Eritrea, 
something like that. Began three days of voting on a referendum to make official its independence from Ethiopia. Today, Eritrea, Eritrea is 19 plus 10 years old. Happy 29th birthday. Speaking of birthdays, happy birthday to James Buchanan, former president of the United States. Happy birthday to Shirley Temple, American actress and diplomat and helping kids under the age of 11 feel like they're drinking alcohol since the day of time. Thank you for the Shirley Temple. I'll have a cherry with mine. Happy birthday to Roy Orbison. Happy birthday to Michael Moore. And happy birthday to William Shakespeare. The past is the history. The future is the mystery, and the past is a gift. That's why we call it the present. On this day, April 23rd, we celebrate some crazy things in the United States. Let's get through them. Number one, National Talk Like Shakespeare Day. On April 23rd, each year, National Talk Like Shakespeare Day encourages us to speak like the bard and the characters in plays. We do this because... It was his birthday today. The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. Today is National Take a Chance Day. Every year on April 23rd, National Take a Chance Day encourages us to break out of our comfort zone. So walk up to that long-legged beauty and take a chance. Most of us have unaccomplished goals or dreams. What if this was the day to take the chance to make them happen? I will take the chance that none of you can put a milkshake on Boston's head today. It's National Picnic Day. On April 23rd, National Picnic Day encourages everyone to pack up their lunch and take it outdoors. Picnics are terrific. Terrific way to enjoy a meal outdoors in the company of friends, family, and every insect in a city block. Today is National Lost Dog Awareness Day. Every year on April 23rd, National Lost Dog Awareness Day increases awareness concerning missing dogs and celebrates reunions. It also reminds people with... Noodle brains like myself that I lost my dog on my 15th birthday. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You're probably wondering what food do we celebrate on this date. 
I was too. It's America. We celebrate at least one kind of food every day. Every day. Look it up. Here we go. April 23rd recognizes the food holiday of National Cherry Cheesecake Day. Cookbooks and bakers offer a large variety of recipes for cherry cheesecake. Some cherry cheesecake recipes call for the cherries to be mixed into the batter and others place the cherries on top. This smooth dessert hits the spot when the end of the meal rolls around. Indeed, while most cakes have a crumb, cheesecake's texture is nothing like a cake. It's creamy, thick, pudding-like character comes from the soft cheese used as the main ingredient. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, today is National Record Store Day. On National Record Store Day, owners, employees, and music lovers gather in the place that created a, a culture of its own. From vinyl to digital and back to vinyl again, the brick and mortar store celebrates a love of not just the music, but the art of jacket covers, words, and style. Through a variety of events, record stores across the country and the world hold one day events and promotions. <laughs> Today is Celebrate Trails Day. Celebrate, Celebrate Trails Day on the fourth Saturday in April encourages the nation to get out and enjoy the country's outstanding trail systems. As the weather warms up, so does the trail system. While many people use them all year long because they're stupid, I added the because they're stupid. Exercise is dumb. America's trail system gets its real workout. See what I did there? Between April and October, when the weather is ripe for outdoor activity. This is how we celebrate April 23rd. It's now time for the joke of the day, ladies and gentlemen on TikTok. Yesterday's joke of the day, joke of the day got muted even though I wasn't playing music. They are after the beast mode. But here's today's joke of the day. The only cow in a small Kentucky town stopped giving milk. The people did some research and found that they could buy a cow just across the state line. That was really hard to say. In Illinois, for $200, they brought the cow from Illinois, and the cow was wonderful. It produced lots of milk all the time, and the people were very happy indeed. They decided to acquire a bull to mate with the cow to produce more cows like it. They would never have to worry about their milk supply again. They bought the bull and put it in the pasture with their beloved cow. However, whenever the bull tried to mount the cow, the cow would move away. No matter what approach the bull tried, the cow would move away from the bull and he could not succeed in his quest. The people were very upset, decided to ask the vet, who was very, very wise, what to do. They told the vet what was happening. Look, whenever the bull tries to mount our cow, she moves away. If he approaches from the back, she moves forward. When he approaches her from the front, she backs off. An attempt from the side, and she walks away to the other side. The vet pondered this for a minute and asked, Did you by chance buy this cow in Illinois? 
The people were dumbfounded, since no one had ever mentioned where they bought the cow. You are truly a wise vet, they said. How did you know we got the cow in Illinois? The vet replied with a long, lost look in his eye. My wife is from Illinois. Yeah, I said it. Did you know? Did you know, guys, this is... Did you know that Japan is suffering from a ninja shortage? I know, sad, but it's true. See, if you have ever dreamed about becoming a ninja when you were little, or like me, even last night. Now is the time to make your childhood dreams a reality. In 2018, the city of Iga, which claims to be the birthplace of the ninja, suffered from a ninja shortage despite the fact that they're willing to pay salaries as high as $85,000 a year. You didn't know this? Well, now you do. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor every single day to introduce to you a featured song of the day. I am really, really happy to play for you a song from a band from the town of Palestine, Texas. This will be the second time we have featured a song from a band from Palestine, Texas. This song is called Come Alive, and the band is Blind Pursuit. Enjoy. Feel it boiling over and here it comes Like a wake of emotions rising like a flood You can see it, I can touch it, here we are 
gentlemen ladies and gentlemen that was my friends blind pursuit song was called come alive y'all check them out everywhere except don't be like peeking in their windows or anything like that right just don't do that that wouldn't be cool at all would it that wouldn't be cool If you're watching on the YouTube, comment down below a song you would like to see featured or give us a topic for Beast Mode to talk about. That would be fun. Ha ha ha. Right? Like, comment, subscribe, ringy dingy the bell. Thank you. <laughs> 